Hi, I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a scarf, it's because I don't have a scarf. We came up to Philadelphia really, really quick, and I, I didn't get time to pack one. I was in such a hurry. Actually, I didn't get to pack many clothes at all. I got a sweater, which honestly I could be wearing for, you know, sleeves and whatnot and a hood, but frankly, I don't want to. Um, got pants. I bought this shirt at the, when I toured the penitentiary, and I got a pair of jeans that didn't fit me, because I accidentally packed them, yeah. So, so if you're wondering why I don't have a scarf, because I don't have one, but that's not the only thing I don't have. I'm going to have to go shopping while I'm up here, just to get clothes to make it the time I'm going to be here. Anyway, I figured I'd give you an update. I'm still getting all these notes saying you're praying for Deanna, and by all means you can keep praying, but she's fine. Uh, it's... She's a miracle as far as I'm concerned. She, her, her awesome feisty attitude came back real quick. She got into a sign language fight with her mother. Yes, she's truly my best friend. <laughs> uh, totally, totally awesome, but she's fine. My aunt is not. My aunt Sherry, I've, I don't think I've mentioned her much. You know, I, I don't. I call her Tia because she does not want to be called Aunt Sherry. Well, several, several months ago, she had breast cancer. They removed her breasts. She's fine for a little while. Lost her hair, wore away. Fine. The cancer spread. It. She has tumors in her head, tumors in her liver. There's somewhere else, but I don't... I, I'm pretty sure it's in her stomach, it's in her hip. We don't think she's going to make it through the night. She's in a hospice right now. And... It, I know they say everybody knows somebody with cancer, but I've never known anybody with cancer until now. Well, I mean, I knew one person, but she had breast cancer, got rid of it, she was fine. So I just, when I heard Tia had breast cancer, like, she'll be fine. Fine. Yeah. Because the last person I knew was fine. She was for a while. But she's not. I, I don't know what to do. I'm... I pray and pray, but she keeps doing worse. I mean, I don't know what to do. But, I mean, we, I sat at the hospice all day with her. She's not talking much anymore. She was being feisty before. Like, I can't remember. Oh, she's rolled her eyes so much. But she, she was, oh, we thought she was sleeping the other day. We just kind of looked at her, she opened her eyes and goes, stop staring at me. And closed her eyes again. <laughs> so we just kind of laughed. And last night when, when we left, she's like, goodbye. 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 Because she didn't want us there crying over her bedside, metaphorically or literally. And my, my grandfather turns to the, the nurse and says, if she had a big stick, she would use it. <laughs> she would. She does not like people feeling sorry for her or anything like that. I heard when she was first diagnosed, she didn't want to tell the people she worked with because she she didn't want it to be seen as a weakness or anything like that. She didn't want, she just didn't want the attention. But today's my grandmother, her mother's birthday, and most of you probably know my mom, my real mom. I I, I say my mom a lot, but I'm, when I'm talking about Diana, my stepmom, my real mom died when I was in fourth grade. My grandmother's other daughter, so they're losing both their kids here. But when my mom died, it was it was really sudden. By the time my grandparents found out, I mean, she, she was already dead. We thought she had the flu. It was very sudden. No one expected it. Tia, we've known for a while, was going to die. Oh, I put my number card in. I don't know really which is worse about that. I mean, you know, it being sudden or being slow. And I keep thinking, you know, I, I don't want to let Tia go. I, I don't. She 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 picked Friday as the day she's going to die. I think if she wants to last till Friday, then people like my grandfather should, should quit praying she gets it over with today because we're, we're pretty sure she's in pain. And I said goodbye to her today and I hope she's alive in the morning because she, she should make it till Friday if she really wants to. She, she was out of it about that being her day. No matter how much pain she was in, she wanted that to be today. You know? So I, I, I think it should. But my aunt and parents are both, you know, if she's ready to go now, she should. And I can't bring myself to think that. So I can't help but think. She must know that somehow. I, mean, I don't know. 
I don't want I, I don't want to keep hanging on for me or something, but I'm I'm scared to just give up permission to let go. And of course I feel selfish thinking of that if it isn't, you know, me she's holding on for. And I'm going way deeper into this than I thought I would on a YouTube video. I kinda of forgot I was on a YouTube video for a minute there. But please, please pray for her. I I didn't get to see her much and it's kinda of too late to try and schedule future visits. But if she wants to go on Friday. She she should she should go on Friday. Not tonight. Not I don't know Mother's birthday. I really don't really I don't I don't really know what else to say anymore. Um I feel like I should, I should I should talk about something else. I don't know what know what to talk about. Um I'm in Philadelphia, I can say that. But yeah, um, this video is a lot of quiet spots. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should probably go now.